a long boat. I mean, I'm not surprised really, but Whoa, you teleported. If you're still looking for Cane Pyramids at this point, here's another one right here. Where is Barry? As a reminder, don't hit that because it's going to hurt. And don't hit that because that's going to hurt as well. Hey, Barry. This is Mission Store. Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Ooh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Do you do that, Barry? Be careful, Al. Isn't there an item here? I think. Yeah, let's keep going. Look, that light we turned on. Oh, come on. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff, which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't going to say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, a, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wild this past, but actually... 
Actually, most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. No more radio stations for the rest of the game. side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. They had the meats. Actually, this won't be hard at all. Oh, uh, this is gonna be difficult. Wait, you live? It's like, where, where, where's the thing I'm looking for? Uh, Al? Is that I you had to there, find buddy? a key to get Barry out. Yeah, it's me. Hang on. I'll try to find a key to get the door open. All right, what am I fighting now? Hey, what's the hold up? Come on, this place is all dusty. You know I got my allergies. Oh, nothing? Those is useless? Hey, let's go, man. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. side of the field we're almost there technically this whole thing's this in the farm is a crazy place for crazy people we should feel right at home then bahala come on one more gig let's do this thing the old gods know the truth Downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box.
Yeah, I know, but we need collectibles first, Alan. And thank you the last few thermoses of this episode. Yeah, I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding! Those guys sound awesome! Hmm. More copyright music? You hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Anderson's talking about. That's the whole reason we're here. All right, we do have every statistic up to this point for this episode. So let's go ahead and talk about it. 72, because I missed one. We're good on that. 69, nice. I've done eight kid pyramids. We've done all radio stations. There's three tour television shows, and there's 11 signs. We're on. I've not found a lot of clocks or cardboard standees yet, though. That's a little weird. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? Ah! You don't think the power is going to go out? I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, you're like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those fruits and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. But it's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Yay, creepy Tom. Diver's Isle, wait a minute. There are no collectibles here. To keep that in mind. Alice, Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. Wait. It was a crazy drunken dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remember being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice, Alice, Alice. would have never turned the lights off. I remember thinking, I caught a glimpse of her form underwater sinking into the darkness diving after her was the last vague memory i had of that night after that 
The next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes! You can see the, uh, scary, uh, Harmon's voice. Harmon's dead, right? Why did we figure that out? Dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. True, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes, I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. What? No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a script of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. To bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zeng was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. She stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. I have woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. I wrote it. It's 
when it fall. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. How did you find me? Guys, next time on I'm Wake, we start episode 7. Or, wait a minute. Five. I can't count.